Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock as the world awaits news on the Scotland vote. But first, the net worth of Americans hit a record high of $81.5 trillion in the second quarter. As the stock market climbed, even though household debt in America rose at its fastest pace since 2007, together they are a sign of growing confidence amongst US consumers. The number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits fell more than expected last week, down an impressive 36,000, and suggesting the sharp slowdown in job growth in August was an aberration. In an echo of old news, today we heard that the Irish economy grew by a stronger than expected 1.5% in the April to June quarter, and the Irish government has upgraded its growth forecast for 2014. That growth rate is twice the rate New Zealand reported for its economy yesterday. Worries that China's economy may be slowing further intensified on Thursday as data showed home prices fell for the fourth straight month, adding to expectations that Beijing will need to do more to stimulate its economy. In Europe, there's been a low uptake of the ECB's latest stimulus plan. Banks don't want to give up their existing loans for cash and are worried there may not be enough good loans to go after. The ECB's cred is at stake here. In Australia, there are two items of interest from yesterday. Firstly, Andrew Thorburn is shaking up the NAB, making sweeping changes to the bank's management practices, customer engagement tactics and incentive structures. And secondly, a vast new gas discovery in Western Australia is claimed to be their largest find since the 1960s. Back in New York, US Treasury 10-year benchmark bond yields had another healthy rise overnight to 2.63. Equities rose to record levels, mainly on the response to the fall in the jobless benefit claims. The price of oil has fallen again. The US oil price is now just on $93 a barrel, and the Brent benchmark is now under $98 a barrel. Gold also fell, and quite sharply, and is now at $1,220 an ounce. We start today with our currency slightly lower against the US dollar, and now just on 81.4 US cents, slightly higher against the Aussie at 90.6 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 78.4. There is no early poll out yet on the Scottish election, except to note that the UK pound is stronger today, with markets picking a no vote. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.